$1,400 stimulus check update and SSI will go up this much. This year, millions of Americans who rely on Supplemental Security Income, SSI, will see a change in their monthly benefits. Based on recent economic indicators, the Social Security Administration has projected a 2.6% cost of living adjustment, COLA, for 2024. While any increase provides welcomed additional financial support, there are concerns this year's raise may not keep pace with actual inflation. SSI provides a minimum monthly guarantee for aged, blind, and disabled individuals with limited income and resources. Each year, this amount is reviewed and increased commensurate with rises in consumer prices, as measured by the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW. For an individual, the current maximum federal payment standard is $841 per month. With a 2.6% COLA, that figure would be adjusted to $963 starting next January. The income threshold for couples would see a comparable percentage increase from $1,261 to $1,296. While a rise in benefits is certainly better than no change or a decrease, the projected 2.6% adjustment may fall short of the inflation currently impacting household budgets nationwide. According to the most recent CPIW data from July through September, consumer prices increased around 9% year over year in those months. If inflation does not significantly slow by this fall when the final COLA determination is made, the purchasing power of SSI payments will diminish further in real terms despite the adjustment. For individuals and families reliant on SSI as their primary or sole income source, Higher day-to-day -day costs for essentials like groceries, utilities, rent, and transportation put greater financial strain on already tight budgets. Modest colas that trail overall inflation potentially force difficult choices between basic needs as benefit dollars do not stretch as far. Advocates argue the current formula underestimates inflation's true impact on low-income households. Potential 2024 stimulus payments. In addition to the annual SSI COLA, Legislative discussions are also ongoing regarding another round of direct economic impact payments in 2024. Similar to relief disbursed in 2021, a proposal has been put forth in Congress to provide $1,400 stimulus checks specifically for SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs, VA beneficiaries. While the ultimate approval process remains uncertain, the potential for these additional funds is an important discussion point. The proposed stimulus payments aim to offer further assistance to the millions of Americans who receive monthly cash benefits through SSI, SSDI, and VA programs due to limited income and resources from disabilities, retirement, or time served. Individuals receiving these benefits have faced heightened financial vulnerability during times of high inflation and rising living costs. Proponents argue the one-time $1,400 relief checks could provide critical support addressing both ongoing pandemic impacts as well as current inflation pressures. If approved, the timing of stimulus disbursement remains to be seen based on the legislative timeline. They may be distributed either in the latter half of 2024 before the general election or potentially early in the new year depending on congressional action. For many recipients living close to the poverty line, an extra $1,400 per individual could significantly boost spending ability over a period of months. However, the proposal requires gaining approval through both chambers of Congress, which is not guaranteed. Advocates have encouraged beneficiaries to voice support for these stimulus payments by contacting their federal representatives. Expressing how the additional funds would personally help could demonstrate the proposal's importance to constituents and potentially expedite consideration. Widespread grassroots advocacy may be pivotal for moving the legislation forward in a timely manner if lawmakers sense constituents want action on this issue. The need for modernized benefit calculations. Both the annual COLA adjustment process and discussions around additional stimulus underscore the need for modernizing how benefits are calculated to better reflect the financial realities faced by low-income Americans. The current inflation measures and formulas approved decades ago do not accurately portray rising living expenses, according to analysts. Updating methodologies could help ensure benefits are truly sufficient for meeting basic needs now and in the future. For example, the CPIW index used to determine SSI COLAs 
does not incorporate certain expenditures that consume a disproportionate share of budgets for those in poverty such as medical costs, housing, and utilities. Recent research indicates these essentials are rising much faster than the overall CPIW average. A more representative inflation measure factoring in the actual consumer patterns of low-income households would likely result in greater annual benefit increases. In addition, benefit amounts have not kept pace with inflation stretching back over the long term. The maximum federal SSI payment is lower today in real terms than when the program started, despite rising living costs. Simply plugging each year's inflation percentage into the calculation fails to make up lost purchasing power over decades. A catch-up mechanism accounting for previous shortfalls could help lift payments to a more adequate baseline level. Finally, benefit formulas have not been revisited or adjusted upward since their inception long ago. A process to regularly evaluate and modernize payment amounts based on current poverty thresholds and the actual costs of meeting basic needs would help future-proof the programs. Inflation alone does not always account for broader economic changes that impact individuals' well-being over the passage of many years. While both COLAs and potential stimulus provide temporary relief, advocates argue the systems determining benefits need revamping to truly address the challenges faced by those with limited incomes now and ensure economic security into the future. Updating methodologies with more representative measures and periodic reevaluations could strengthen these critical safety net programs for years to come. As the projections, proposals, and discussions around SSI benefits for the coming year demonstrate, supporting those with disabilities and limited incomes through no fault of their own remains an ongoing priority. Both maintaining the real value of assistance amounts through adequate annual adjustments and providing additional relief during times of widespread hardship serve important humanitarian purposes. However, as the rising challenges of inflation underscore, the methods for calculating and delivering assistance must also evolve to reflect economic realities. For millions of Americans reliant on SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits as a foundation for meeting basic living costs, modest rises that fall short of rising prices or one-time stimulus measures that may take months to approve do not fully alleviate the difficulties of limited and fixed incomes. Both the potential purchasing power declines from projected below-inflation colas, as well as the uncertainty around additional stimulus proposal approvals still leave beneficiaries vulnerable to ongoing inflation impacts. Looking ahead, modernizing how benefits are calculated through more accurate accounting of inflation, faced by those with the fewest resources, as well as periodic re-evaluations of payment standards, could help strengthen economic security on a sustained basis. Catch-up provisions addressing past purchasing power losses may also be warranted. Ultimately, the goal of programs like SSI is to prevent poverty, not simply supplement already inadequate incomes that fail to realistically cover the cost of living from year to year.